What's going on guys? MakerMods here, back at it again with another Switch review. Today we're taking a look at the Salmon Switch by Kinetic Labs. Kinetic Labs is a relatively new vendor in the whole keyboard space, and I was interested in who they were as a company. It turns out it was started by Key Bonbon, who you may know from his YouTube and Reddit keyboard content. Uh, I found this Reddit post when he was introducing uh, the company. I really liked his vision statement, where he wants to offer products that solve problems for key enthusiasts. I personally am a huge fan of their lube palettes and their switch storage boxes because each container easily fits 110 switches. I buy switches in 110 packs to get the best price and also because of how I prepare my YouTube videos uh, with 45 stock and 45 lubed and filmed. And most of the containers I found either didn't fit 110 switches or were actually more expensive than the Kinetic Labs containers. Plus, these stack really nicely. So getting back to the Salmons, uh, the Salmon is a tactile switch that is advertised as having a large and round tactile bump comparable to Holy Pandas. I've been reviewing a lot of tactile switches. All of them, or most of them, seem to be compared to either the Holy Panda or the Ergo Clear. Now what does that mean? Holy Pandas are basically known to have a very little pre-travel and a round tactile bump. Uh, whereas ergo clears generally will have a little bit two millimeters or so of pre-travel a pretty big tactile bump and then two millimeters of post travel as well so depending on where you like your tactility uh, you'd want to get one switch or the other uh, this switch is advertised as having a 55 gram actuation force two millimeters of pre-travel 1.5 millimeters of post travel and 3.5 millimeters of total travel i have to note one thing too i really like how kinetic labs has all of this information on all of their switches right on the switch page. Uh, they tell you the specs and they tell you that it's lubed. So that's, that's really nice. I don't have to go looking for that information on the internet. However, they also have this FAQ section, which basically explains these are factory lubed to the legs only. Now, when I opened up my salmons, I found lube basically everywhere. It was like a, an oily type lube. It wasn't too viscous. Um, it, was, it was a pretty light lube from what I saw, but it was pretty much everywhere. They lubed the tactile legs, they lubed uh, the stem sliders. Uh, there was lube everywhere, pretty much. So would I re-lube these switches? I did, but it was more uh, just spreading the lube evenly and making sure it wasn't in places where I didn't want it to be. It's a 63.5 gram spring, and let's talk about the switch material really quick. It says that it's got a palm stem, uh, and the housings are a custom PC polymer. It's got a really nice color. It's got a pink top and a salmon color bottom. Hence, I guess the name Salmon Switch. But one thing to note is this idea of the custom PC polymer. Now, what could that mean? I actually reached out to Kinetic Labs myself um, and I asked them what the material was, if they could tell me. Um, it's been a, over a week now. He still hasn't responded to me. Um, usually he's really good about responding in terms of questions about when stock is coming in and things like that. So uh, my inkling is just that he's trying to play this one close to the chest. However, looking on Keep Talk, uh, there was someone who had a similar suspicion to me that these are Texi Tactile Spring Swapped with the Kinetic Labs Long Springs. This is a pack of the Kinetic Labs Symmetric or Slow Spring, if you will. What is so special about these springs? If you take a look at the Slow Spring, it's it seems like almost twice as long as a normal mechanical keyboard spring. Have a more uniform force progression and a snappy return. So this guy on Cave Talk said when he was inspecting the switches, it seemed like these are basically just rebranded Texies. He has a lot more, a little more sleuthing going on. Looks like the exact same bottom mold as the Texie um, blue velvet switches and the purple pandas. He says, I'd take a guess and say that the custom PC polymer mentioned is PME, just like blue velvets and purple pandas. Now we've looked at another PME switch uh, on this channel, the coffee chip ice cream tactile linked above. And I have to say, when I, as I was inspecting and, and lubing up these switches, I have the same suspicion. When I opened up these salmons, I found a lot 
of flaking. As you can see from the pictures on the screen, uh, there is quite a bit of flaking on the bottoms of these switches. So I had to remove these little flakes, flakes and wisps, I guess, for lack of a better word. Uh, I, I had to take them off with uh, my tweezers. Uh, it wasn't too big of a deal. It was a little bit annoying, but uh, you know, it wasn't terribly, you know, bad. Like I said, I messaged Kinetic Labs asking them if this was PME. They didn't respond. I don't know why, but maybe they just want to stick with their, you know, custom PC polymer. But remember, what are the benefits of PME? It's supposed to lead to a deeper thock and a smoother switch. And so let's go to the sound test to see how it compares. So at the end of the day, I guess the question is, how do I feel about these salmon tactiles? Let's talk about the pros and cons. Um, pros, I think they sound pretty good. Uh, they they feel pretty good too. Uh, I think definitely the sound is good. I like, I personally really like the slow springs, um, not just in these switches, but in all switches. I, I like the snappy return, although that may not be for everybody. Uh, they're also pretty cheap on the spectrum of switches, right? So if you buy 110 switches, you're paying $52.80, which is about, you know, 50 cents or so a switch. Also, if you uh, buy over $99 worth of stuff, you get free shipping. And with their storage, uh, like their, and their, their lubes, uh, it's pretty easy, in all honesty, to hit $99. <laughs> but save your money. Um, now, if you're looking for switch storage, honestly, I think the Kinetic Labs uh, storage boxes are a great option. If you're looking for keycap storage, I personally prefer the JTK trays, and that's, I have a lot of the Kinetic Labs ones, but I've actually been using mine. I've been using my Kinetic Labs switch storage, uh, excuse me, um, keycap storage trays as just extra <laughs> switch storage trays. Um, yeah, overall, I really like Kinetic Labs as a company. I like their mission statement. Their switches are pretty good. They're pretty affordable, which is great. They sound okay. I personally think the PME material is fine. The only thing that I noticed, maybe it's a little more pronounced on this, on the salmon than it was on like the coffee chip tactile, for example, because of the snappier return. There's like a weird, how do I explain it? There's a weird kind of rubbing sensation. Uh, I think when the palm and the PME top hit, it it's not bad, it's just different. Something that I'm not particularly used to. Filming the switch does make it a little better. 
Um, but when I was when I was pressing the stock salmon, you can kind of maybe hear what I'm talking about. It's like a weird like clack rub sensation. I don't know. You just have to try it yourself. Um, and you can buy single switches, so they are pretty and they are pretty affordable. So I would definitely recommend at least picking some up and trying them out. The PME housing and the slow spring combined gives you a lot of new options for Franklin switching, if nothing else. Uh, I like the color as well. I think they look really nice. And overall, I think they're a great option for someone that's looking for a Holy Panda-esque tactile with uh, very little pre-travel around tactile bump and some uh, post-travel. Yeah, the value for money is there. The feel is fine. The sound is okay. I personally like the slow springs. I think that's hit all the points that I wanted to cover today, guys. So that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I uh, really thank you for watching this video with me. I hope you'll uh, check us out on Twitch. I'm streaming every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday from 8.30 p.m. Pacific to about 12 or 1 a.m. And um, we're having a lot of fun over there. So come check it out if you can. Thanks so much again for watching this video. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.